before you trim a dog, whether you use scissors or clippers, make sure it's been bathed, dried and thoroughly combed so there are no knots in. As this, the comb will go straight through the coat without any tugs or tags. Clippers, before you attach the blade, start the motor. Click it in gear and add a comb. The combs come in three different sizes and you can do it depending on how long or short you want your dog. When you put the clipper on the coat, it must be flat with the shape of the comb. If you're just using the clipper blade without a comb, flat like this and goes along the coat and follow the contours of the body. The neck at the top of the head, bring the clipper down and run it along the back as far as the tail. Then, using from the back again, using from the middle of that hook, take out the coat flickering along at that level and then straight down the coat one layer with the clippers, comb the coat through again as more hair comes out and this will stop the clippers becoming clogged with hair and then do another layer of hair until, with the clipper until you've got to the point where you want to stop. The first layer I took on I used a 13mm comb now I'm going to go over it again with a 9mm comb to make it slightly shorter. The comb starting at the top of the head following straight down the middle to the base top part of the tail. At a 45 degree angle going straight down following the contours of the body. As you can see this is now taking a lot more hair off the dog. The blade number is the same, it's just a different comb size. Always use your hand to protect the dog. Never cut the hocks off if you prefer to keep them like that. If, if you're not showing and you just want to pet trim, you can, but um, I, I prefer for Chloe just to leave her this short.